hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is miriam Olana. if you're new to the channel thank you so much for joining me today if you're an older better kid you know i love you i appreciate you in today's video i'm going to be bringing you guys this african threaded hairstyle i absolutely Afri love african threading it reminds me of when my mom used to do my hair so to start off i'm going to spritz my hair with water and conditioner then i'm going to go in with a leave-in conditioner from dark and lovely i absolutely love that leave-in conditioner it is a three-in-one conditioner leave-in deep conditioner and just conditioner it's amazing i'll bring you guys a review soon and then i'm going to go in with a middle part uh, i went in with the middle part first because of the style that i wanted to do so it kind of gives me a guide and a foundation on how to go with the rest of my styling then i went in with a deep side part all the way to the back um i just wanted to show you guys how i pop my hair it's not always like perfect but come on guys i try it i tried you know this thing with 40 hair like one minute it's straight um one move and then it decides it's going to change so i went in and then i sectioned the rest of my hair out using scrunchies um you can use those like crocodile clip vibes if you'd like then i went in with my age control gel i used the iso plus age control and i'm just using my red tail no 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 i'm just using my edge brush it brush to just like uh blend that edge control in and taking out some hair from the front because i don't want to pull at my um edges too much and then i'm going to go in with my thread so the thread that i'm using is just wool and i counted them into eight um so it was eight threads together and then once you fold it's six threads and then once you fold them it's 12 so i fold all the folded thread together with my hair and then i would um african thread all the way to the bottom and past my hair it makes it easier when you're now cutting uh to remove the style and also when you're trying to fasten and like tie the hair at the ends so as you can see the wool that i tie is longer than my actual hair and then once i get to the bottom i tie my hair twice so i take from the wool that i was using to thread tie it around itself once tie it again around itself the second time and then a third time if i feel like it really needs to be fastened and not to the end so that is the way that i knot at the ends um i found that it really keeps the style from unraveling if you don't tie it properly you could have your african threading unraveling and then because you know me i always want some of a room with my styles i really just wanted to give the style some edge so what i did is i went in with some kinky hair to do a conroe i wanted the conroe to be really thin in terms of like how much hair i was taking because i also have really fine hair but um so for me to get like that thickness that i wanted i went in with some braid um and then i just did a feed in bit at the front so you uh, braid one two three conroe one two three add some fiber and then thread then conroe again to get your um thickness or width that you want so this part is very easy i went in with two in the middle and then two on my deep side partings um and then i'll accessorize them at the end so this is just to give your style some edge i mean if you uh, want it to not just look like basic african threading you just want to give it that that something that pull that mm. <laughs> so that's why i went in with that and then i continued to do that um so i went four on my uh, size and then six here on in the middle sections so that's just how i part of my hair but depending on how thick your hair is and how much volume you have in your hair and what you want it to look like in the end you can genuinely go in and do whatever it is that works for you more in terms of how many sections to do uh, i don't want my sections to be too thick so i just went in with four at the start that is the corner closer to the ear and then here i went in with five or six if i'm not mistaken uh, so now i'm just showing you guys again how i'm parting the other end of my hair um so what i was doing is i was doing it in sections part properly make sure your parts are clean um section out of the way add edge control where you need to so if you want the line to be cleaner what you can do is add edge control and then um go ahead and part it um it kind of gets some of the hair out of the way and then i went in now i'm doing the final section so i african threaded all my hair first before going in to secure the style so i african threaded everything and then only when i was done did i go back and start um cutting the ends off and once i had cut the ends off i went in and 
uh, layer them so this style is basically layering and it's a good way to do your african braiding if your hair is now long and you can't kind of join it well so you braid braid you African thread, African thread, and then you layer. So the layering is only up to you, but what I just did is I put, put one on top of the other, um, and then when I got to the end, I took some African, uh, some wool, and then I threaded all of those together at the ends. And then I did that with the second section, and the next one, and the next one. And once you're done doing all of that, um, you can now join them at the back to suit like your daily needs so depending on what you want to do at the back do you want to add some extension or do you just want to leave it out i went in the african threaded everything together joined them all together as you can see and then i joined the two on each side because that was going to work well for me and kind of what i wanted it to look like at the back and then you can just now nip and tuck so once you uh, cut that thread and you made it look all neat, you can go in with bobby pins joining the two together like I'm doing here, or you can join them separately on each side of your hair, almost like you've got like two little ponytails. So, or you can do it this way that I'm showing you now. Uh, and then again, depending on how long you want to keep the style for, you can um, sew this in, but I wasn't going to be keeping the style for long. And also I hate sewing styles for the back. So I just went in and I bobby pinned them in. And then that's, there you have it you've got yourself a really cool fun and funky hairstyle for the week your hair is protected it's spring ready it's summer ready honestly love 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 this style and i really hope that if you guys try it you love it too because look at this how cute thank you guys so much for joining me till next time and also thank you for 20,000 subscribers whoop, whoop.